And uh, back with us on set, we love this, GOP strategist and Newsmax columnist John Burnett. And we're also joined by host of Money Talk with Melody, Melanie, Melanie Collette, plus Newsmax contributor and former FBI agent Michael Grimm joins us as well. Uh, welcome to all three of you. Melanie, I'm going to start with you. I was actually speaking with uh, Michael Grimm earlier on set, and he was talking about the fact that we have a violence problem in this country. We're not just talking about shootings. We're talking about stabbings and beyond. And I think he's exactly right about that. We do. We have a mental health problem. We have a morality problem. We have a lack of accountability problem in the United States, starting out, in my opinion, in the public schools with bad parenting, not holding kids accountable. And I think that that is part of the reason why we see this going on in the public. I've often said when I was, I'm a former uh, educator, but when I was, I used to say, well, when, if we don't discipline them now, what's going to happen when they go out into the world and behave the same way? And I think that a lot of it is, is us seeing the results of untreated mental illness and, and violence and immorality. Yeah, it, uh, untreated mental illness is always a difficult one to deal with, obviously. But John Burnett, there's also the idea of justice. There's the idea of standing behind your police officer. There's the idea of when you commit something that's a, a felony, you're brought in, you're thrown in jail, you're, you're taken to court, and you're sentenced, and you go serve your time. Now, it's a, a been turned up on its head. Totally. You're talking about yesteryear, right? <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. the good old but, days. But yeah. in this, this modern era of victimhood... Right. Yeah. And 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 feel and expressing yourself. Right. Right. We're seeing that throughout our entire society. For over the weekend, there were two basketball games where teammates were fighting on the sideline. Yeah. Throwing yeah. punches. Right. Yeah, so whether you're talking about kids or professionals, it's a common theme here. Let me ask you this: as a as a man of color, the criticism you have is the system is not fair. The prison system is not fair to, to uh, African Americans, for instance. And it seems like the judicial system um, uh, has had a history of having some systemic problems. Are those better now? Because it seems like they've gone to the other end of the pendulum well, to where it's like, we're not going to charge you for anything. There, there will, there's always room for improvement, but it's, it's undeniable, right, that blacks had it much worse. Yeah. Under Jim Crow. Yes. But families were more intact, right? You had values. People comported themselves. Even, even though they were poor, lack of opportunities, they comported themselves with a high level of respect. And that's what, not what we're seeing right now, right? Pro uh, possibly the, the, the lack of values, breakdown of connection to religious institutions, as well as just, just the lack of the surrogate neighborhood, right? I didn't have to only fear my parents. I had to look at, make sure that my neighbors didn't see me. Well, you were in a good neighborhood. Right, I mean, yeah. but, but it was still old school values need yeah. to return. Otherwise, this is a downward spiral. Yeah, Michael, how do you see this turning around? What has to happen? Well, that's the problem. I think John Burnett was, was very articulate there and mentioned the downward spiral. We are in a downward spiral. How do we come out of that? Honestly, I don't know at this point because you have so many things converging at once. You have a lack of priorities coming out of the White House. It starts, first of all, with the top, right? So that you have to see some of these values coming out of the White House that we don't see. Right now, they're seeing you know, the FBI's priorities are you know, going after Donald Trump. Uh, we're seeing things like that where the politics is pervading rather than a moral standing. We're allowing you know, things to, in, to get involved in our school that are priorities about equality when it comes to sexuality. We shouldn't be worried so much about sexuality. We should be worried about the basics of reading, writing, and comporting ourselves with a certain level of respect, as John just said. So I don't think the priorities are there at the top. I think it's all been co-opted for really political purposes yeah. under the guise of justice, whether it's social justice, economic justice, or whatever kind of justice you want to say, yeah. it's all under those guise. Now, you say it needs to start at the top, and a lot of people nodding their head here, along with myself. And also, Melanie, we have to uh, start in the school uh, for these kids to come, and there, there needs to be a consequence. We have a, a, a teacher in Virginia shot uh, because, oh, 
you know, don't want to upset uh, the, the kid or his family by saying you're not allowed to have a gun here. Uh, that's exactly right. I can regale you with experience after experience that I had personally in a public school system where there were very scary situations. I had a child cyber stalk me. I had a child say that he was going to kill an entire family. He knew I reported it, came back into school the next day and said, just so you know, I'm not mad that you reported me. Now, that seems threatening. Yeah. If you ask me, this is a child yes. that clearly has some kind of mental illness, some kind of issue, and they did not remove him from my classroom. And it's very commonplace. The statistics are high. 20% of public school kids have untreated mental illnesses. Now, wow. we, that's exactly right. I so, don't know if they're defi how they're defining that, but that is stunning that there's no way to treat it. And, and there's no way to treat it, and you can't force the parents to get them tested. You can't. And, and so what they do is they say, well, he has this mental illness, so we have to give him some leeway. Yes. Hmm. And, and that everybody is not has to be fed into the system. Oh, every right. And everybody has to use the same language, the same words. And, sure. Melanie, it was interesting. You were saying parents aren't required to do things in those cases, but parents are required to do things if you're talking about... Um, a transgender student right. or allowed and... all of those things it seems like uh, the, it's just a lack of practicality um, well beyond even just a lack of morals right you know I'm, I'm, I'm an advocate for old school values and as you know Michael and, and Melanie pointed out there, there are multiple approaches that we need to take but it all starts inside the home hmm. right yeah so so we, so we need to change the ecosystem yeah. from from the White House all the way down to your house <laughs> We need to make sure that we get these kids back on track with values, respecting the, the uh, you know, uh, the, the, the community, respecting your neighbor, respecting your teacher, all of these things. Because if we don't, then, then where are we headed as a society? And we're, see, we're seeing more mental illness. We're seeing more people depressed. We're seeing more people with anxiety. Yeah, part of that and, is right and, here, and, right? And more, I, I mean, and more you drug get the feedback loop, and, and psychologically, these people, if there's damage, they, they get more and more damage, and then they act out, and there's no also consequence. poor communication skills. No one wants to talk anymore. Right. It's, you go from zero to 60 in, in seconds. That yeah. you don't even have it's, to use full sentences. It's exactly. emojis That's true. and abbreviations. <laughs> and, and it doesn't acronyms. matter because if you, you, you spell it wrong, it Someone doesn't matter. Someone will spell it for Right, because you, you don't even have to bully in person anymore, right? You, you could, could just hide behind do, <laughs> no, do emojis. We should at least have to 